Good morning, good morning. It's Jilly Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with another little pour. And I would like to just sincerely thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I'm well over 80,000 now, so my next milestone is to reach 100,000. Fancy that, hey? Okay, today I've used a uh, mix smudge of colors like our uh, brands these are the art alchemy paints and i've mixed up some of the uh, color shift by folk art gorgeous colors and i've mixed them all with a little bit of flow troll so they're mixed with a little bit of flow troll and just two drops of this varnish um, I'm just seeing if when it dries, it dries glossy because they're so um, sort of lustery, sheeny, shiny paints. I just thought if they dried with glossy because they've already got the varnish in them, then there's no need to actually varnish or resin them. So I've pre-mixed these colours, as I've said. So the only I've mixed some... I didn't have a real deep purple and I wanted to use a dark colour so I've mixed up some of the Montmartre signature acrylics it's the same um, and I've mixed it with the Floetrol as well and I have added a good dab of the dragonfly glaze so it is just glistening in there just beautifully beautifully so those are the colours well those are the paints I'm going to use. Whether I use all of those colours is another thing. I have mixed up a little bit of white here too with Floetrol, exactly the same. Oh, and if my dog is going to do that, I'm going to not be happy, Jean. He's been quiet all morning and then you come to paint and he obviously thinks, oh, this is fun and games. So, so. This is a big jug of white I had left out. Ah, oh, flies and dogs. Um, yes, it's my fly swatter. I mixed up white house paint with flow troll and a bit of water. I don't normally use it in everyday stuff, but I'm going to use it because I'm going to flood the canvas with it and I had it left there. So, so. This one I'm not sure whether I'm going to try a double Dutch pour with my mini blower because it's just a smaller canvas and if I use my um, hair dryer it just blows it everywhere. So I'll try it with the mini blower I would guess would be easier to use. So just flood my canvas. Where's my swiper tool? So these are the lovely oval canvases. Um, I get these from Capriol Shabby Chic here in Australia and they're Montmartre canvases. So they're um, really nice. They're already pre-treated with gessoed, gessoed, whatever you call it, pronounce it, whatever. So that's flooded. I should use this fly swatter in natural swipe, shouldn't I? But yes, so those are lovely opal magic paints and so are the colour shift. So, so, here we go. I am going to kind of do a... Um, actually, I think I'm going to go with just the puddle pores and then blow them out from there. But I'm blowing with my mini blower because I don't want them to go absolutely everywhere so it's a double dutch a double dutch on a um, oval canvas with these gorgeous gorgeous sheeny shiny paints yeah i'm not sure whether i want to use all the colors i have there because sometimes less is best as we know and i'll probably too much again and that's a little bit thicker and I need to really keep the same consistency it's I think I'm going wrong doing that not having the right consistency but there you go two lovely puddles 
too lovely. I think I might just put a bit of the blue on top. Two eyes looking at you. Oh, why not add a bit of this gorgeousness here? Why not? If it covers the whole of my canvas and I don't have any negative space, that's absolutely fine by me because I know these colours are so beautiful and um, shimmery. So I'm just going to put a bit of this white in here. I'm going to get my mini blower. She's the world's smallest mini blower. I get this one again off Capriol Shabby Chic, but they are available on Amazon for people in other countries. You will definitely find them on Amazon. I'm not an Amazon affiliate or anything as such. I am yet to work that out. So we'll give this a go. So this is my Aussie blue Will you go away, fly? Because I'm going to say bad words if you keep harassing. Wow. It's not now. It needs just a little bit of softening. Wow, that is absolutely shimmering, shimmering gorgeousness. Wowzers, it's definitely not your typical um, Dutch pour thing, but that's it, you put your own spin on things. So it's covered the canvas, but the colours are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just using this bamboo skewer to doodle, to soften some edges up on it run some interesting things through it doodles noodle doodles whatever you say oh the colors are absolutely gorgeous love it love it might just see what a little bit of heat goodness it is gorgeous that is gorgeous the colors it's just those colors the metallics they're just absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful I love it that will just absolutely pop it, it with resin on it but what I'm trying to do is see if it dries uh, with glossy finish because I've already added the gloss to the paint so that is yet to find out but those colors a gorgeous and I've got lovely lacing oh look at that that's super duper I'm gonna finish off my edges I will put some photographs on so you can see what it looks like finished and I just want to thank you again for joining me um, until tomorrow because I'm here every day so please just hop on and see what I'm up to next because hopefully I have lots of different things each day that I give a try I want to try and get back into doing a bit more bling with my glitters and glitter glass just to throw something different in there and some different um, products that I've been sent. So until next time guys, take care. Bye for now.